Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the T25 DEP. Alright, now before I continue on, I just have to say one thing, and that's the fact that when it comes to the Plaza Pistol's lore and features, I've already done that in my Halo Reach version of the Plaza Pistol. So if you're interested into the fine details and its lore, uh, go ahead and watch my Halo Reach version of the Plaza Pistol. For the CE version of the Plaza Pistol, I do only have one paragraph that can add on to what's already been said in my Reach review. So with that being said, let's continue. The T25 DEP's origin dates as far back as the Elite Society before their encounter with the Prophets. Following the Rift of Union, the Prophets incorporated several design improvements to the T25 DEP, including a less volatile plasma generator core and the addition of overcharged safety restrictors, the latter of which granted the function of the fire-up charge-up shot as a large sustained expenditure of energy. So basically, when the Elites made the Plaza Pistol, it just had its piece shot. It never had the overcharge shot. The Prophets were the ones that came in and gave the Plaza Pistol its overcharge shot. It seems like the battery efficiency was also terrible as well. And I'm sure after that, they asked to join the Covenant, and the rest is history. So, this model of the T25 DEP is able to fire 11 shots out before it overheats, and as usual, has 100% battery capacity. The battery efficiency is really good on this gun, taking only 5 shots to deplete 1% of its energy. That's basically 500 P shots, and the overcharge shot takes up 11%. The fire rate I was able to get was around 640 rounds per minute. The cooldown speed is around 1.15 seconds. The max effective range of this gun is 30 meters. The damage output is 7 shots to break shields and 8 shots to health for a 15 shot kill. And, just for science, it takes one overcharge shot to break shield, and two overcharge shots to health, or three shot kill. Uh, not practical, don't do this, you'll fucking die before you even achieve it. Killing spree. As for the TTK of this gun, well, I wasn't really able to get it. See, if you haven't done the math already, remember, I said I was able to get 11 shots out before the gun overheats. That's the fastest amount of shots I've been able to pull off. And this gun takes 15 shots to kill. So, uh, I can't get the TTK because you fucking overheat before you even kill your opponent. And that's pretty much it on the CE Plaza Pistol. Overall, I think the only changes I would do with it is that, well, I think 15 shots is a bit excessive. I would probably make it a 10 shot kill to the body, and I'm also aware the Plasma Rifle has a headshot multiplier. I would probably take the Plasma Rifle's headshot multiplier and give it to the Plaza Pistol instead. And I would make it probably like a 10 shot kill to the body and maybe like 8 shots to the head, something like that. I would also make it so that I'm able to get 12 shots out instead of 11 shots, so a one shot difference. And the reason why there was no accuracy test for this gun is because, well, if you weren't able to tell, the CE Plaza Pistol is laser accurate. There is like basically no recoil, no spread, no nothing. This thing is laser accurate, so an accuracy test wasn't necessary. Not sure if I can say the same thing about the Plaza Rifle, which that'll be up next. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, 
share this video around, subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and let me know your thoughts on the CE Plaza Pistol in the comments below. And until next time, peace.